our advanced premium range chocolate class today. This is your day four of the foundation course in chocolate making. Yes, this class also takes four hours. Of course, we uh, you know we, uh, with less talking we became, we make it faster also. Now what we have done today is we have worked mainly not with colors but we have worked mainly with presentation. How do you make your chocolates more uh, presentable? How you can uh, make variations? Like today the first what we made was Ferrero Rocher. I told you hazelnut rocher. This is your hazelnut rocher. Today, just for a change, I tried making a biscoff rocher. Let's cut this biscoff rocher and show you how it will look from inside. Okay, so this is your biscoff rocher. I'm waiting to see it inside. Yeah. So we're gonna cut this biscoff rocher. Lovely. And we have a biscoff center inside. See? And you heard the crunch while while I cut it. It's nice and crunchy both ways, inside and outside. So this yeah. is your biscoff rocher that we made today. Then we've done our uh, three layers. Okay, we've done three layers. This is a very pretty uh, layer that I made today. We have pink, we have green, we have white. So we've done three colors in our chocolate rose. Okay. Then we did something which is your uh, after eight. Now we've done two. I just showed you one packing. This is your after eight, which is a gummy liquid filling with mint flavor. Okay. This is a packing also, which I showed you how to do your box packing. This is your choco chips, but of course today we use pearls, nutso pearls. So see the look of your nutso pearls when you do it in this mold. Okay. Then we did something which is a truffle. I showed you how to make a rubbery truffle, and then we did a cup out of it. So this is a chocolate cup with a rubbery malai truffle. Coated with pistachios on the top. Okay. We've done one more. A chocolate cup. I taught you how to make an edible chocolate cup with a pan flavor and a rose bud. Okay. Then we did a lotus biscoff center cup. Again, this is lotus biscoff with the biscuits. We did pan bites. So these are your rose pan bites, and this is how you'll wrap it. Okay. And always keep the wrapped pan bite inside the mold. With the other chocolates, but make sure you wrap your pan bites. Okay. Then we did a marble effect again in the same mold, but in a marble effect. You can see all different colors we have used in our marble effect. Okay. Then this is your Ferrero. Yes, we did rose. This is your rose where we have made a rose with the design on it. I showed you two types of uh, enhancing the rose stick so that you can you know have a bloom effect when you are making a rose. We've done our chili chocolate. With the tran, uh, with our yeah, this is your ch chili chocolate with the transfer sheet. So we have a design one place and one side is your chili flakes. Okay. Then we did a peanut butter or you can say cashew nut. We did even peanut butter, but otherwise these are your cashew nut uh, praline bars. Okay, logs you can say. And see, I showed you the wrapping part. Okay, so this is how you wrap your uh, cashew nut praline rocks or your uh, bars. These are your rocks. Cashew nut rocks. This is a Florentine. I also showed you how to get the design on the Florentine. We have done something which has a splash, a gold splash of uh, gold dust on top of your Florentine. Okay. We did chocolate dia with the cashew nut toron inside. Plus, I showed you how to color it gold. So I've done a full gold dust method in my uh, dia. Okay, in my cashew nut torons. Lastly, we did our brittles. Now, this is your brittle. Thicker the brittle, uh, thinner the chocolate layer. Okay, this is how your brittles are done. This is how the packing is done. Each brittle needs to be wrapped individually. And I gave you an idea of how do you make it an assortment box. In a uh, in one box, you can have all your assortments, big, small, all uh, shapes of uh, chocolates you can put in one box. Okay. That's your Florentine with cranberries today. I taught you this, and of course, this goes in a bigger mold so that you have your size of your Florentine is bigger. We did a smaller mini Florentine today. Okay, so this is how we concluded our today's class with uh, loads of variations, information, and yes, those who joined me from day one to day four, the foundation course. Hope you enjoyed and you begin your chocolate journey soon, Janvi. Right. Any questions? Neetu, I think even you finished your foundation. Upasna finished. You all three have finished. Yes. 
So you're yes. pro in your chocolate making now. You just need practice <laughs> that, that's and variation. Let's see how we make it. <laughs> Correct. So you have to make it, practice it. Yes. Make your own creativity. Like today, I just created something with Biscoff. Hmm? Yeah. So that creation will come while you keep on making and making. Okay. Any questions? Yes, I got really busy. You know, uh, mean 